Hi ladies and gentlemen, the Video Producers Club of Leisure World is proud to present this video about the flowers and gardens of Leisure World for 1997. I'm your producer Ray Jarris, and here to tell us all about these flowers is that eminent horticulturalist Mary Apt. Hi Mary. Hi Ray. This is a, uh, a, a privilege to be here in the gardens and uh, that's a sweet alyssum in front of you there. Do you like the sweet alyssum? Yeah, I do. I bet that little bunny likes it. You know, it's a good thing those, that's just a statue or he'd probably be eating it. And this is some wild sorrel. This, uh, this is very uh, common in uh, byways here in Southern California. When we get some rain, we get some sorrel. Uh-huh. Was that the purple there? <laughs> it's the yellow. Oh! And this is an iris. This bearded iris is, um, well, a spring flower, and usually a companion of, that's right, daffodil. Oh, that's not another iris. No, no this, is right. a, this is a daffodil. We um, find them frequently at the same time of year, same, same gardens. The dahlia will come along uh, later in the summer it comes from a tuber. Here we have other a things. Tuber, that's <laughs> something you play, isn't it? <laughs> big horn? No, no, okay. uh, for a moment there, there was some uh, salvia. And uh, here we have uh, borders of um, impatience and um, probably some begonias in there. These uh, trees have um, in the, the garden area with, with the hanging flowers. In those pots you'll usually find something like a uh, Martha Washington geranium. As you people can probably tell we're driving around through Leisure World and uh, that's one of the things. This looks like uh, a familiar place here. That's Bill Doan's corner. Uh -huh. And uh, his uh, great amaryllis are not in bloom right now. Okay. We uh, we like to drive around to get these videos to show those people here in Leisure World that uh, don't have the opportunity to get out. Oh, look at this. Not to be outdone by the flowers. There's a tree. What's that? That's a uh, crepe myrtle. And the crepe myrtle uh, is really... Uh, Doing, outdoing the flowers, all yeah, right. Yeah. And these are uh, some sort of um, succulents. Well, aren't they? yes. Uh oh, there's a dog. There's a dog <laughs> inside <laughs> Leisure World. How about yes, that? it's guarding this rose. This is a long golden rain. If you want to find that spot, and these <laughs> are daylilies, and uh, the uh, greenery there is a split leaf philodendron. Here we have. A sunflower? I was going to say, you can't fool me. That's a sunflower. <laughs> it goes all the way to the roof. It's really uh, popped up high. The uh, windmill is guarding a spot where the dusty miller is growing in the pot with the um, very nice begonia. Dusty miller looked like a t the water pump to me. Huh? Well, there, oh, there is a okay. water pump okay. there. Right. <laughs> and these are petunias, Ray. They have a nice uh, smell. They're on a corner right along um, St. Andrews. Well, you know, if you want to know what this place looked like when they first built it in 1962-63, you can go down to the Historical Society and see just how dead and plain this uh, area would be without these beautiful flowers that the, the residents have planted around their own uh, their own uh, units. That really adds some color to the to Leisure World and I'm glad to, that we've got them and I'm glad we're able to show them. They're, um, they're along uh, all these paths but there's uh, some areas that are um, for the whole the whole of um, Leisure World. Eventually we'll be showing you some of those. This is a tulip that's on someone's that's porch. Oh. Yes. Poor guys. <laughs> These are pansies. 
There's a yellow one. They're very velvety. Well, okay, I used to call them furry, but that's all right. <laughs> Fur is out now, velvet is in, right? Yes. <laughs> Be politically correct. You're right. Maybe that's a midnight blue. It's not mood indigo, is it? No. It's another shell. This is a primrose. Uh oh. It must be along a path. That's right. <laughs> and this, you said uh, sh the shamrock a little while ago, and I think that that's exactly what this is called. Oh, faith in Begara. <laughs> A more formal garden here. I believe this one is along uh, near the um, golf course, and some uh, sculpture, and uh, I think that's a, like a bear grass. Uh, and uh, right up the path, I'm going to show you some tulips that are in full bud. We haven't got any in bloom oh, yet. Okay. I was going to say <laughs> I don't see any tulips around here. Yeah, those are tulips. Oh, okay. It's nice when you're uh, hoeing to know what the the foliage looks like for all these plants. This is a daffodil, and uh, those are the uh, daffodil spikes. What mm -hmm. do you think of that? Yeah, yeah, that's <laughs> that's usually the way my garden was too. Last week, mm -hmm. and here we go driving along some more. Yeah, yeah, this is spider plants. Uh, some more hanging plants. Yeah, a lot of things like that. For a small amount of space, a lot of things are grown. <laughs> uh oh. Look at those guys. There's they're on the fig tree and I think they're checking it out and gonna be ready the minute those figs are uh, ripe. Yeah, you were right. <laughs> as we go along here the um the look as you look down through um, between buildings and so forth. The flags are flying here and there. Uh, just uh, decorative sorts in the, that um, complement the garden. Yeah, for those of us that don't have a green thumb, at least we can hang a flag out. Eh? That's right. And this is a, 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 a persimmon uh, tree and uh, a succulent plant. That wow. Look at the size of those things. Yeah. That's a pepper. Uh, there are little red peppers hanging in that plant. I guess you can't quite see them. And uh, I'm going to show you a uh, medicine plant. This is a Chinese herb, and that has been very carefully tended. I wonder if that's ginseng or something like that. I don't know the name of it, but the man who was tending it said it's good medicine. Ah, okay. And this is a mandevilla. Very fond of... Um, growing on a trellis. They like a lot of sun and uh, they need good drainage. Roses are growing in many people's gardens along as you go. Uh, impatience is one of the other things you see there and uh, probably some begonias. These are Shasta daisies. Yes, this is my corner. I'm just gonna say <laughs> this looks so awfully familiar. Mm -hmm. <laughs> The Shastas are some that uh, my father had uh, in their home uh, in uh, San Clemente. And uh, when he was gone, we moved some of the flowers, and they, uh, they really proliferate. They don't last too long, and so I have something planted behind there, a cactus and uh, other things that will come up and take the place when they're gone. There was a bird bath, and uh, this is a, a hedge of jasmine, very nice smelling in the evening. Some more succulents. This is a canna lily. How do you like that? Yeah, it is nice color. Look at that. Yeah. The cannas are uh, another plant that uh, is, you know, loves hot weather and lots of sun. 
Well, we sure had some of that around here. I believe this uh, red crown here is a coleus of some sort. And uh, the feathery plant is um, a, a fern. And this exuberant garden has so much I can't name uh, everything. You see daisies, you see uh, this is a agapantha in the foreground with the blue and the uh, cosmos is the is another lacy uh, foliage and that cosmos plant cannot be blown down it uh, stands tall in, am in amazing conditions <laughs> This is a shrub, and it's flowering to beat the band. I don't know the name of it. Ooh, looks like those uh, uh, silk flowers, doesn't it? I think it's real. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess it would be. I don't think you could get all those colors out of silk, but uh, yeah. whatever. This is on St. John somewhere, and. Uh, we have some dahlias down here, and the, the uh, contrasting uh, foliage is, uh, again, Dusty Miller. Yeah, I can see it. The uh, light color to the right. The uh, dahlias have a, they're from a, um, like a tuber. Where you can, Where is you know, they grow year after year. Oh, come on now, you're not. <laughs> a tuber is a horn, isn't it? A big <laughs> thing, you go know, boom, boom, boom. <laughs> Do you think you like the pink flowers best? Uh, they're pretty good, but I, I think the uh, yellow uh, really uh, brightens Looks up. Looks like Kate's uh, ready. Really brightens up our areas here. What we're going to see here is some blue flowers, actually. <laughs> okay, okay, Kate. Gonna the phase uh, you out. little spot you see there is lobelia. Mm. The plant right to the left of it is a uh, cactus sort. <laughs> um, this is a delphinium, another blue flower. Usually stands in a, t a, st a taller stalk. Uh, the foliage here was what we were trying to show off. Okay. Now and uh, the geranium. Bill. See if we have any. We have sound a lot of those there. around Leisure World. So many kinds Do of geraniums. Um, I tell you what. Stick this in. There again is your lobelia, a closer view of it. Oh, nice bright blue. Isn't there, I always thought blue, little blue flowers like that were bachelor buttons. <laughs> nope. There certainly are some bachelor buttons somewhere. Now this is a papaya plant. We'll have to come back later and see if they get some papayas. Yeah, invite us all in. Now, did we mention a primrose pass yeah. earlier? Well, yeah. this is oleanders here. Oh, okay. uh, the oleander uh, hedges so uh, drop yet? their flowers, and uh, mm -hmm. when I get that in focus, you'll be able to see uh, that the ants like it. <laughs> yeah. Well, let me put it in. Uh, let me put it in up here and see if you get anything. What's that down there in the distance? Well, I'm going to show you a flag that someone well, has uh, hung out or a, a, a banner and it uh, really uh, shows the details of uh, gardeners there are the gloves oh, yeah. a um, watering can yeah hose trowel shell whatever you call it it's a emblem of hard work <laughs> yeah now these are uh, the oh, roses uh, down at uh, Clubhouse 4, aren't they? Between Clubhouse 3 and 4 is this uh, helipad <laughs> with the, that's surrounded with uh, roses, and they're cared for by a special club of enthusiasts. Well, they certainly need a lot of tender love and care, that's for sure. Um, Not only are the flowers different colors, but there are actually different sorts of roses there. There are um, plaques that show the name and, and type of, of rose, and I read uh, hybrid tea and floribunda and uh, miniature rose on some. Mm -hmm. We don't have climbers here, I don't believe, but uh, a lot of different 
flowers. So climbers are a different uh, category. Well, huh? they just wouldn't work very well in that uh, circle. Yeah. Um, they need a something to climb on, a fence, a trellis, or something. But uh, these floribunda and uh, hybrid tea have special uh, manners of, um, of blooming. I think the Floribunda has more uh, buds on one stalk and the, and the hybrid tea is more of a, uh, a single flower, but I'm not sure about that. <laughs> not as imminent in roses as they could be, I guess. You're doing a lot better than I would, after all. I know the roses. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, a tuber from a tuba, why uh, I'm in bad shape, especially if I try to eat one. <laughs> Sweet potatoes are tubers, aren't they? I think you're right. The people that take the um, dead blooms off and, and keep pruning these and keeping them in shape do you know a lot of work. They wear gloves. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can I can attest to that every time I get anywhere near a rose bush. Ouch! They're carrying a basket and uh, they have clippers and uh, they're out here early in the morning. A lot of dedicated people work here. Yeah, that uh, collection of roses there needs more than just the, the gardeners. You need a lot of TLC to keep those, uh, those beds in order. Water isn't all they need. <laughs> I thought maybe you'd be able to read some of those signs, but I see that uh, you have to make a personal visit down there. Right. Oh, would that be called a tea rose? I think that I think that's a hybrid tea. Hmm. If it isn't, we'll get some. <laughs> we'll get some. We'll get some mail. <laughs> I think so. Well, at least if we get some mail, we'll know the people are watching. It's their show. Their show. Inside Leisure World. Whoops! I just something went real dim. I really think that our flowers encourage oh, no. visitors, bird visitors, like too. Uh, we dim. have like um, enough variety year-round to keep hummingbirds, I think, happy here. And uh, hmm. we'll have, we have more than just crows. I'm gonna go back around here. I don't think we have a picture of any of our other birds, but they, uh, they can be heard. Here, it's, it's partly out. I thought we had one on a lamp post or something somewhere. Oh well, I think maybe you're right. And these are an euphorbia. <laughs> Lipstick bush. That's how I know that one. The oleander. Mm -hmm. More canna lilies. That's the um, flowering crepe myrtle. Kate. Oh, nice yellow flowers. Some, some, some daisies. They, 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 those are big enough to look like a shrub. Yeah. Could you adjust that leg for me when I put this up? The, um, just un, just undo well, it and then you see it in the background some the foliage ground. of the um, poinsettia. Eventually, we'll have a show of that sort. Well, there's our resident Hollywood types, <laughs> the director's chairs out there, making sure we're filming properly. This is a drive-by shooting, Ray. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 
the nice kind. Right. I'm trying to get as many people's gardens as I mean you a lot of people are gonna see their own gardens and say, That was that was my place. That was my philodendron. That was my uh, yucca plant. Uh, my hedge. Well, that's the idea. You want, to, want people to know about uh, these gardens and... Uh, There's so much variety, Ray. Yeah. They, they're, it's a signature, sort of your personality can be uh, expressed in your uh, pump. border. Yeah. I think some of these things are items that came from a another estate. <laughs> <laughs> I think so. The old farm, perhaps. Mm -hmm. We also see things that came from um, the wood shop. Now, there, we've seen a, such a thing as this. That's a bicycle built for two of a different, well, it's more like a um, surrey with a fringe on top, <laughs> don't you think? Yeah, yeah. Our cool parks and wide sidewalks invite this sort of uh, perambulation. Well, not only is she a horticulturalist, she uses these big weeds. <laughs> so, uh, the hanging plants there were are, are begonias, I believe. Ah. Well, there's a perambulator. Yes. <laughs> the bricks that you see on the, the uh, fronts and sides of buildings there, uh, there's so many different kinds. Someday I'm going to uh, make a study of that. <laughs> hey, look at these things, look like green roses. They're really uh, <laughs> some sort of succulent. Maybe we'll get a call on that and someone will tell it's a, its name. Those are impatience. White, pink. They love shade. A lot of shrubbery and uh, some rocks here and there. That's a status. Um, that loves uh, beach air. Here they are. Um, <laughs> yum, 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 yum. <laughs> tomatoes or tomatoes. Tomatoes. Depending on where, where you come from. Uh, here we have ranunculus blooming. This garden is. Uh, These are a windflower uh, ranunculus. I think it's a relation to a uh, poppy, but has many more petals. Double, very double. That one's so heavy they had to tie it up to um, near the status again. What are these? These are ranunculus. Hmm. Yeah, it's a... Uh, that's a great stand of them. I, I like it when there's so many in one patch. There sure are a lot of them. Here we have some iris. This is a different type, um, more of a, um, it's, it's not the bearded iris, but I'm not sure what they call this plain one. And that was an azalea. Park-like air areas are um, quiet in the early morning. Yeah, 
yeah, in our early morning um, marine layer. Yes. Helps keep things nice and comfortable throughout the year. This garden, she's used some um, stepping stones and uh, rocks and a lot of variety. Azaleas are the uh, main color. Oh, that's nice. That's status again. Status, huh? Yeah, and the yellow rose. This is a, some sort of a begonia, I'm pretty sure. Potted, sitting on the porch. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'm I'm partial to yellow flower. There's a bird. See? Oh yes. It's checking out a fig tree that's covered with a net. Hmm. Oh yeah, I didn't I didn't see that. <laughs> Those crows won't bother with that one, I guess. Roses. Geraniums. Daisies. Cactus. Cacti or cactuses. <laughs> hmm? And here we have a few pansies. And I hope you've really en enjoyed looking at uh, the flowers and and the special uh, signatures that people have put out front by uh, choosing a a uh, landscape uh, variety for their own place. Yeah, it sure adds a touch of personality to these uh, these units. As I said, all you have to do is go down the Historical Society and look at the pictures from when this was first uh, built up. Yep, Leisure See, World has come a long way in flowers and gardens. Well, thank you very much, Mary, for your uh, commentary. And thank you, folks, for your attention. And uh, we hope you've enjoyed this, and we uh, will look forward to seeing you all again next summer when we again take a look at the flowers and gardens of Leisure World. Thank you very much.